The Swedish defense minister does not rule out an attack by Russia on his country. Landing ships have been spotted in the Baltic Sea for the past week and the army is ready. So, in view of the escalating Ukraine conflict, Sweden is keeping an eye on Russian activities in the Baltic Sea. It is not a question of a higher level of readiness, but a redistribution of resources on readiness, stressed the Swedish military, which on Thursday published pictures of the troop and uh, equipment reinforcement, including pictures of tanks crossing the streets of Sweden's largest Baltic Sea island, um, where they grove to uh, Gotland. NATO Secretary um, General Jens Stoltenberg plans to meet Sweden's Foreign Minister Ann Linde and Finland's Foreign Minister Pekka Havisto on Monday. The Scandinavian EU country had already increased its presence on Gotland about a week ago. And not unlike neighboring Finland, Sweden is not a NATO member. But both countries are close partners in the military alliance. It should stay yeah, it should stay that way, as Swedish Defense Minister Peter Hultqvist made clear in a TV debate on Thursday evening. Hultqvist told uh, the Deutsche Welle on Friday, we cannot rule out an armed attack on Sweden. Therefore, he wanted to make it clear that his country was ready to defend itself. Sweden is ready to defend its sovereignty and integrity and does so itself. But also together with other countries with whom we have cooperated for many, many years. A few days ago, some Russian landing ships were also observed in the Baltic Sea. According to the TT News Agency, a total of six ships, that's more than normal, were in the area. They have now left the Baltic Sea again, but three were anchored in the Kattegat in the middle of the week due to bad weather conditions. And in... Finland last weekend, a large Russian cargo plane caused astonishment, which is said to have taken a detour through Finnish airspace. In Sweden, several drones had been sighted over sensitive locations such as nuclear power plants. It's unclear where they came from and I reported on this earlier, but you, you never know. And Finland's Prime Minister Sanna Marin recently said it was very unlikely that her country would become a NATO member under her leadership. However, she stressed that the EU member state with the longest land border with Russia has the right to join the alliance in the future if they want to do that. And she's absolutely right. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.